Right now, investigators are trying to piece together the case of a missing man after a hunter recently found his remains. Tonight, we're hearing from the Sheriff's Department about this strange case. Jerry Crew disappeared on, in April of 2021. He was never found until we learned yesterday that someone discovered his remains. Five on your side's Ryan Henson is here with more on this mysterious investigation, Ryan. Kelly, Mike, a hunter discovered bones in Jefferson County on Friday. Investigators have identified those remains as Jerry Crew right here, and he's from Cedar Hill. Now the discovery is leading to even more questions. Was Crew murdered um, or did he die of some other cause? Um, but then also the question remains of, of how did the body end up where it was? All questions Jefferson County deputies are trying to answer in the disappearance of Jerry Crew. Crew was last seen alive in April of 2021 and deputies worked for weeks to try and find him. But in May of 2021, while serving a warrant to one of Crew's associates, that associate opened fire. Deputies fired back, killing Anthony Leggins in the shootout. They later found another woman, Tanya Gould, dead inside of the house. Now, a year and a half later, someone finally discovered the remains of Jerry Crew near the town of Dittmer. But how he got there, why he died, and what happened to him all remain a mystery in this tragic puzzle. Fortunately, there were enough teeth remaining in the skull that they could use uh, dental record comparisons for identification purposes. You hope to bring the best case scenario and the best news to the family. Unfortunately, just sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Investigators plan to return to the area where Crew's body was found looking for more clues as to what happened. With few witnesses and little evidence, investigators hope either their experts can crack this case or someone else will come forward. So there is a lot of question, questions, but investigators are confident there was foul play. They're hoping the medical examiner and a forensic anthropologist can get answers, but that could take weeks, even months. In the meantime, they're asking witnesses or those with information to come forward to help get justice. Mike. Ryan, thanks.